RH here in the Low Garden, the latter part of August 2018. So a quick run through the garden, see how things are uh, winding down. There's fires everywhere. Now well, most of the peas have all been uh, taken out. That's the last remaining pea. Uh, it itself is also getting a little uh, powdery mildew on it. You kind of see a little bit of a cast. See the little uh, cast to it. You can see when I rub it. See the stuff comes off. I have a real problem with that here. These beans are just really getting going here. The peas are done, but the beans are really just getting rolling in the canopy. Now I had some uh, cool days, so I had this open up here. Now I wish I had closed it the other day. I was just been too busy. I move on. We still got a lot of carrots. Need to harvest some more of the carrots. Ooh, there's a nasty hornet there. Time to get some water out here. The hornets are there for it. Pulled out a cabbage, big cabbage from here. Deciding which one of these lettuce I might let uh, go to seed. So you're already getting some seed here on the end. They look ugly when they go to seed, but it would be nice to have some seed. Some more seed. Squash are still uh, booming along. Oh, I gotta cut those. Oh boy. Some of these are already, uh, yeah, Mrs. R.H. is going to scream. <laughs> going to be another, another bucket of squash coming her way. And squash coming out our ears. Now, squash plant's been uh, cut down a couple times and draped all the way to the ground and just wanted to keep going. Here's some English lavender. These, uh, these butterflies really love it. It's orange butterflies. Some uh, chocolate uh, mint, regular mint, lemon balm, strawberries at the end. Pomegranate. Tomato. Oh, it's a tomato, really. It really is a tomato. I don't see any tomatoes on it. Oh, really? How, how droll is that? Okay, now we move along here to the peppers. Yeah, you can see he's getting a little, uh, and a little dry. His leaves are limping down there. Now oh, we got some nice peppers. Marigolds really took off more at the end of the season. They start off really slowly. And we pulled out some other plants that were in here. That pepper was a volunteer. Came up late in the season. And these marigolds are still taking off. Of course, this butterfly bush. Let me get some perspective here. Look at how tall that thing is. Let's say... Eight, at least 12 feet tall. Maybe 13. Starting to dry up a little bit. As soon as it stops flowering, I'll uh, really whack it back severely. And uh, yeah, we got some marigolds that are volunteers. A few of them here and there popping up on their own. So right now, oh, and I see the peppers are getting. I like them when they uh, when they turn red. It's just more flavorful. So I will tend to wait. Until they're red or chocolate brown. So that's it for our low garden. This was kind of a less of a year. I should have mentioned the uh, basil. <laughs> Looks kind of strange because uh, Mrs. R.H. was just out here uh, yesterday, the day before, stripped it of all its leaves. We usually get about uh, three uh, harvests out of the basil during the summer season. And each time with just these few plants, it's able to make uh, basically two dinners of uh, uh, pesto. So we used our garlic, we used our basil, 
Yeah, and I think she's putting some walnuts, pine nuts, that sort of thing in there as well. So that's what we've got in the lower garden. Oh, I should mention the leeks. Leeks are doing really well. Now one thing I've done differently this year is uh, previous years when I harvested, I was actually pulling them up out of the ground. And I found not only that disturbs the roots on nearby plants, but uh, so this year I've been just cutting them down a couple inches of the, of the of the ground of the soil, and then they regrow. This is a regrowth. Uh, this is a regrowth. About half of them in here are regrowths. So plenty of leeks. Basically, use them as onions. I didn't get any onions planted this year. So the leeks actually work quite well. You can saute them as onions. They're very flavorful, especially down in the lower portions of the leeks. They're very much like an onion. The uh, Some of the leaf portions you cut up in, in salads, they're quite nice. Uh, generally, we hit the end of the year. These will be, when they're finally pulled out, uh, this RH will process them and freeze them in bags. So we'll have plenty for the winter time. Oh, and here's a scapey. See the little, uh, there it is, scapes. These can be pretty tasty, a little late in the season, but uh, pretty good to chew on. Mmm, yum yum. Mmm, oh yeah. That was tasty. Mmm, 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 mmm. garden. Almost the end of August. Just a quick run through the garden. Blueberries. Oh, looks like I pick a few more off of there. Pretty much been picked over. Fruit trees, as it cools off, they'll need uh, trimming again. See all the little water suckers coming up. Still, I really love the wood chips. They've just been wonderful. It really keeps the weeds down, makes it so much nicer. I don't know, I may reduce the moles a little bit. I still see them popping up. Some large moles. Trees are doing pretty well, still always need to be sprayed. Tomatoes, really producing now. Still a lot of green ones. I'm cut back on the water, stress it a bit. Potatoes are just about ready to be harvested. You can see this one's starting to turn yellow. Could be that he's a little farther away from getting water. Back while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and connect up that soaker, let it run for a little bit. It's kind of a minimal garden up here this year. Just didn't have the time to really go crazy. Squash, this thing almost gourds. And I got some Turkish figs on the side, they turn purple. And I forget the name of these figs. Anyway, another type of fig. So they still haven't gotten ripe yet. Still getting some strawberries. Surprisingly. Well, those are ever bearing. Got a mix of ever bearing and uh, June bearing strawberries. Corn. It's popping up. Like I said, my spacing was a little close because I didn't know whether these were going to come up. I had, hadn't had any luck in the lower garden before. The birds got all the seed. This time I actually covered it up with a netting. But, you know, I spaced these at about six inch spacing. So, not surprising. The corn itself is coming out a little small. Well, that's how you find things out. Hazelnuts, uh, we've got some of those. The birds got most of them. The grapes, I mean, these are the latest season. These are the regular green grapes. Rather large bunches of them. The red grapes are just starting to come into their color. Very pretty colors.
cherry. And the purple grapes, really I've been harvesting some. Some of them are ready to go. I'm heading out, I'll take this bunch with me. This thing is just loaded. <laughs> it's really sagged the uh, wires down so much. Wow, that lower wire is really sagged down. So I have to harvest this year, trim this thing up a bit, then I'll really cinch these wires back up. There's just grapes loaded all throughout this thing. Now it's interesting, uh, they're kind of somewhat gelatinous in the inside. They're not really fond of, but I'll eat them that way. Oh, hello, Mr. Hornet. I say they're just all over the place. Let's see if I can whack him. We How did I get him? Where is he? Oh, no, I didn't, didn't stun him enough. Sometimes you can stun them, get them to the ground, and stomp on them. You'll probably be looking for me. Okay, whoa. Lots of beautiful purple grapes. So, that's the upper garden getting towards the end of summer. We love the beautiful evenings here. Tall trees, privacy, beautiful river, ships going by, nice sunsets. RH signing off. Hasta la Projecto.